Hi, I'm Misty. I'm sorry, you guys, that uh, this video is a bit delayed. So I accidentally deleted the footage I had from this weekend. And, um, well, I'm just going to redo it quickly here today in my studio. So I am going to comb some top and show you how to uh, make a good worsted yarn. Uh, Worsted yarns are fine, uh, best suited for like lace work and where something would be like you, you want like a really nice, even, smooth yarn. It keeps all the fibers going in the same direction versus when you card something for like a woolen yarn, all the yarn, all the fibers are like overlapped with one another like this, you know. Oh, I actually got a bat laying right here where I can show you what I'm talking about, okay? This is part of a bat I just pulled off. And you see how when I pull it apart, you see how the all the fibers kind of go in different directions? This is going to make for a lofty, heavy um, yarn that's like better for like caps and things like that. You want extra warmth. But when you have a top, like, here's some process, commercial process top here I'm going to pull off. Here. You see how all the fibers are going in the same direction. Okay, so I washed my merino fleece uh, the other day, and I let it dry. And I'm going to pull off a bit of a lock here. And when you keep, when you load your combs, the cut in goes here. Like that. When you're first starting out combing, don't overload your comb. It's going to make it really difficult for you to comb this out. So I'm just going to lightly do this for video link's sake. And I'm also going to show you flick carding today as well. Because this, this, this fleece has got a great staple length. And it's really clean. It's just got some little dirty tips. So if I wanted to just spin it directly from this lock here, I would get my flick carder here. And this one's from Ashford. But you could also use like a cheap dog brush if you would like. So you got your cut in here. This is the side that was on your animal, and this is the side that's got the dirty tips. So you just fan that out. Now I can sit and I can just spin it directly from this. See? All right, so, so I've got my comb loaded like so, okay? Um, I might go ahead and cheat a little bit because I got in a car wreck <laughs> on the way down to where I was going to film this video in the first place. So my shoulder's still a little kind of sore, so I'm going to make it a little easier on myself and tease these ends out for you so I don't have to pull. My combs that I have here are extra, extra, super duper fine. You see how close they are together? It's two pitch, which means it has two rows of teeth. Now these teeth are very, very, very sharp, so be extra careful around your children and pets. And always mind where your hands and keep your knuckles out of the way because they will cut you. I know from experience. So you have your, this comb never is gonna move. This is gonna stay on your leg or up here or wherever you're comfortable. And the motion is this way like that okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow through and there's a little bit of static in this too and that could be alleviated with a little bit of downy fabric softener water down in a misting bottle but I don't know where my misting bottle is so bear with me guys or a little bit of hair conditioner, too, also will do the trick if you don't want to use downy. 
And what this is doing is it's combing out your, um, like, little neppy bits and, like, short hairs. I saved some here so I can show you guys. See, this is what's left in your comb. This is stuff that you don't want in your yarn. This is, like, little nips and noils and, well, not noils, but, uh, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, things of that nature, a little, see, it's really kind of just garbage so but if you wanted to like save this for like pillow stuffing or something totally do that and waste not or give it to the birds outside and they'll put it in their nest okay anyway so now i've got this all the stuff on this comb so i'm going to take it put it in my left hand and this is the the comb that it was a it started on okay so then we're going to go like this and keep doing the process over. I made this in an accompaniment to the uh, to the blog post that I had made on the Half Naked blog and you can find also my tutorials in the Facebook group Half Naked You EWE Half Naked You how to's and it's a Facebook group it is a closed group but just I'll let you in um, so I mean, it's really simple to comb through your fleece and I spin primarily a lot of lace weight yarns um, and sock and stuff of that nature I don't do a whole lot of worsted yarn unless I'm doing like an art yarn because I use my drum carter for that and I'll core spin. But most of the time, just my everyday spinning is uh, worsted. My father-in-law made these combs for me, and they are seriously amazing. I love them so very much. Honey, will your dad make these for other people? I don't see why he wouldn't. So how would they contact him? All right, so if you would like to order these combs or buy these combs, get in touch with my husband at Andy Evans. He's on Facebook. Um, or just get in contact with me, and then I'll get in contact with him, and we'll get you, get you hooked up. But these are seriously the best combs ever because they're really sturdy, and they're really heavy, and he turned them by hand. They're gorgeous. I love them so much. So now... You could dizzy, like say if you had this mounted to your table like that, and you can diz like your top off of this, but I don't know where my diz is. <laughs> I am so disorganized. So I'm just going to pull gently on a section like this. See, there's a little bit one I missed there. I'm really sore. <laughs> this hurts. Now, the closer you get to the comb, the more likelihood you're going to be to pull the, the stuff you don't want in there out of there. Okay, so I'm going to pull this off here and show you what the waist looks like. There you are. It's kind of yucky. <laughs> I mean, it's not yucky. It's just, it's not something you want to spin with. Now, if you wanted a needle felt, this is like a, uh, maybe dryer balls. Or, uh, you know, like body stuffing for sculptural needle felting. This would be great for that. I don't like to waste fiber. I try to always make use of everything. So there you have it, guys. That is how you comb wool top for a worsted prep. And uh, it's really pretty. See? <laughs> um, 
and this is just easy to spin so thank you for following my blog and like and subscribe to my youtube channel and if you have any ideas for new videos and topics that you would like me to do feel free to list them in the comment section below and always find us on facebook like us on instagram and have a great day thank you very much bye <laughs>